What happens as you change the relationship in that total pump head up to percent verbal and percent constant? Here's a little diagram for you. On the left-hand axis, vertical, is the horsepower. The bottom axis is the flow. And I got try to color code this individual line so you can keep up with me. But what the verbal speed drive people promised you, what the theory is, would be the bottom green line. The bottom green line is labeled 100% verbal head, 0% cost. You, you can't find that application. It's very hard to do unless you don't have a two-way valve. And about everything we deal with has two-way valves for control. But take a look at 50% flow. And remember, this is PowerPoint. The best I can get the numbers may be off a touch, so forgive me. But at half flow on that green line, I'm at 12.5% brake horsepower. I'm at one eighth. That's what you got promised. But only if you have 100% verbal head. Look what happens as I change the ratios a little bit. Let's stay with 50% flow. Let's, take, let's stay with that number because 50% flow is going to be the vast majority of the time half load. Heating load, cooling load, load, half load, half flow. You're not going to be at 100% flow. Let's look at the real world. Let's look at where we live most of the time. That's going to be around that 50% flow or that 50% load number. Let's go back to my 50. 75% verbal head, 25% constant. I'm in red. And the best I can read it, 50% flow, 75% verbal red line. I'm up to help me out a little bit. About 25% brake horsepower. So do you see what's happening as I change that ratio? Let's jump up to 50-50. Let's go to the blue line that says 50% verbal head loss and 50% constant. 50% flow. Read it on up. The best I can look at it, we're about, what, 40% brake horsepower. Go all the way to the top straight line, which would be 100% constant head, 0% verbal. That actually is a blue line there. Look at the 50%. 50%, I'm up to, what, 75% roughly? Horsepower. What's the message? As you increase the percent constant head, the brake horsepower is going to go up, even at zero flow. Look at zero flow. At zero flow, I'm still running pretty fast, and I may use a lot of horsepower. Let's bring this over to another chart and try to make sure you understand what control head is, fixed head is. We're going to review all this again. Don't worry. I'm coming back to this one again. It's important. So pump curve review. How are we going to tie this to a pump curve? This is what we call best pump efficiency point, beep. Everybody, everybody in the industry calls this beep. Oh, man, I'm proud of my pump. My pump's 86% efficiency right at that little sweet spot. I'm going to pick my pump at that sweet spot right where my little yellow area is, 86%. But the problem is it only runs there maybe 1% of the time. The other 99% of the time is somewhere else. So we're we're so proud of ourselves that we picked at 86% beep, but we don't run there. What is the meaning of something to pick and we don't really use it? The real meaning would be to look at an efficiency island. How big an area in there do we have with a high efficiency? Where is the pump going to be moving with some kind of a low profile? And we're going to say two-way valves. We're going to say it's a low profile, and we're going to say as that low profile changes, I'm moving back and forth on that pump curve. Makes a little sense, I hope. So we want to look beyond beep. Beep's important. They say it's not important. It is important. But we've got to look beyond beep. Here we go back to my efficiency curves with a verbal speed drive. Anybody's pump. This is what happens, and you kind of got to begin to pull these pieces together. And we're going to be repeating this a lot. So if you didn't get it the first time, maybe you'll get it again. I'm at beep in this case at 85%. See my little yellow arrow at beep of 85% efficiency. See my speed lines? going from zero speed to 100%. On the left side is my head. So in the bottom is in GPM. So in this particular case at beep, which is probably what, 800 GPM, maybe at 110 feet ahead roughly, if I had 100% verbal head, in theory, I would follow that 85% beep line all the way down to zero. That we said we're probably not going to find a situation with 100% verbal head. So as you change your speed in theory, 100% verbal head, your pump just follows right down those lines. That's what everybody believes. Listen to me. That's where people are getting in trouble with this. They're saying it themselves, I just put a verbal speed drive and fix everything. That's not true. Verbal speed drives will not fix everything, and people are getting in trouble because they don't go any deeper in this. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's ask you the question, what would happen if my minimum control head was 25 feet like this purple line? 
what happens to my beep efficiencies now? In other words, in the real world, as I slow the flow down and slow the speed down, I'm not following the 85% beep green line all the time. I'm following that purple line because at zero flow, I've got to have 25 feet ahead. It looks to me like I'm going to need to be running at what about 45% plus speed, and my I just crossed over the 50% efficiency line. I just crossed over the 50% efficiency line and you thought you were at 85. If you promised your customer to stay at 85 percent, if you promised your customer that you would be down to zero speed at zero flow, you're in trouble because the real world is not going to let you go there. Let's go a little bit deeper with this concept. Let's look at minimum speeds, efficiency changes, and see what happens. So before we go too deep with that, let's go back to this constant fixed head and verbal head thing and give you a couple of little pumps curves and I'll get them all up there so you can play with it. The black line on the bottom is that system curve. That would be the 100% verbal headline. That would be where we'd like to be. We just said it's just about impossible to find an application like that. So what do we have to do? Well above that we have this control curve. That's a little orange line and that's the one that crosses the pump curve. That's the one where the system curve is going to cross the pump curve. First law thermo. Energy in is energy out. That's the fixed head we got to look at. Make sure I don't lose you here. That orange line represents the minimum constant fixed head required across that two-way valve, coil, and balancing valve to make sure I've always got enough deferential pressure at that coil to give 100% flow through the critical zone, wherever that may be. So that means back at zero flow left-hand axis, I'm not at zero head. I'm at that minimum control head. So that control head is critical. The control head is the fixed head. That's the head we got to deal with. That's the one that's going to control the minimum speed of my pump down at shutoff, and it's going to control the efficiencies. And we're saying to you, we got to start looking at that. We're we're misleading the clients when we say a verbal speed drive will fix anything. We got to look at what really happens. So you kind of get that concept in line. Let's take a look at this control head, this fixed head. Let's play with it a little bit and see what it does to my minimum pump speeds. So here's the question. Here's the big question. What happens to the minimum pump speed as you increase the minimum control head or that deferential pressure set point or what we call the fixed head? It's all the same term. The graph we just showed you showing the control head is the key. Let's plot it on a curve here and see what happens to my minimum speed as I increase the control head, the fixed head, the percentage control. What happens? Here's a little plot, and I've got a pump pick for 70 feet ahead. Everybody see that? I got 100% speed. My total pump head is 70 feet. On this particular graph here, I'm looking at a control head of 30 feet or a fixed head of 30 feet. And you see my control head. The purple line is the system curve as we originally knew it. I got to add 30 feet to the purple line to give me the light blue line, which is the control curve. Here's the question. What is the minimum pump speed at zero flow? What is the minimum pump speed at zero flow? Let's just see. Uh, at zero flow, I've got to maintain 30 feet, not zero. You see, in 100% verbal head, I go to zero head at zero flow. I can't do that here. At zero flow, I've got to have 30 feet. So what pump speed do I need to give you the 30 feet? Roughly 60% pump speed would be the minimum speed of this pump at zero flow. Repeat that. The minimum speed of this pump at zero flow would be 60% to maintain that 30 feet because that's the critical zone. And that's where people are getting in trouble. They don't recognize that. What happens as I increase this control head? Let's go to 40 feet. Now I went from 30 to 40. You see how the little blue line is shifting up to 40? So now it's zero flow. I've got to have 40 feet ahead. My minimum speed now is 67%. So you're beginning to see that this control curve, control head, fixed head, controls the minimum speed of the pump and you'll break horsepower savings. So you're not going to get that theoretical stuff that you thought you were going to get up front. We're going to get to the real world. Let's go to 50 feet. If you see it 75% speed, 60 feet. I think you see it 83% speed. And let's go to 70 feet. And it will roughly 90% speed. Now remember, the slope of the pump curve is going to control this minimum speed. 
I've got PowerPoint. I'm just showing you what's going to happen. So it's going to vary by the pump. But you got the flathead pump, Steve head pump curve, all those things. But the last one I got here is we now have 100% constant head, 0% variable head. It would be the same as if you took the deferential pressure transducer and put it across a section and discharge tappings of the pump because then you've got to set it for the full head of the pump or the worst condition or everybody won't be happy. And now the minimum speed is 90% at zero flow and you thought it was going to be zero? Look at, look at the horsepower. Do you not begin to see why people are getting in trouble not understanding this fixed head control head thing has been a piece of your total pump head, and it's the one controlling. Simple statement here. It's worth you hanging on to. The only thing that will change your pump speed is verbal head. The only thing that will let you go to lower speeds is verbal head. The constant head will not. That's what you kind of got to get through your head and begin to think about. So another question. What happens to this beep, best efficiency pump? What happens to the efficiency of my pump at half flow? We just said we don't run 100% load, 100% flow all the time. Maybe only 1% of the time heating or cooling or wit maxed out. We say we really live around 50% load, and we're going to assume around 50% flow majority of the time. So let's look at a little low profile. Let's take a look, not at 100%. Let's look at 50% flow and see what happens to my best efficiency pump selection, my efficiency, as I vary that constant head. Back to that constant head story again. So let's take a look. Same little pump curve we have earlier. So in this particular case, if I had what would happen to my, my, my best efficiency pump efficiency as I change the amount of verbal head versus constant head. Here we go. I got a pump curve at half flow. The actual total flow of this pump was 800 GPM at 110 feet ahead. Let's look at 400 GPM, which would be half flow where we would normally live. Let's see what happens as we change that control head percentage of the total pump head. Total pump head is 110 feet. If my control head was zero, I would have what? 100% verbal head. Just about impossible to find. No two-way valve. What would happen to my beep? It's the purple line. Remember, we talked about it earlier. If I got 100% verbal head, then at zero flow, I go to zero head. I follow the purple line. I follow the beat line of 85% all the way to zero. Only if I have 100% verbal head. This one statement is getting lots of people in trouble because show me the job without a two-way valve. Show me the job without a two-way valve. Show me a job without any constant head, and I'll buy this. But it's hard to do. You're not going to show me that. It's just about impossible. So this is theoretical. It's not really happening. So we've got to increase the control head to get to the real world. In this case, 100% verbal head keeps my 85% beep, just as we talked about. Let's go to 20 feet. So now we got what? we got 20 feet constant head, 90% verbal. See how the purple line went up to 20 feet at zero? So what are we saying? We're saying, okay, now we've got to maintain 20 feet deferential at zero flow, where before we were at zero. But now we're 20 feet at, at, at zero flow to make sure that critical two-way valve, that critical zone has all the flow it needs when everything goes down. So go a little bit further now. What happens to beep? See the purple line? So it looks to me like at beep now we're down to 77 points roughly. That's where the 400 GPM half flow is crossing the purple line. We're no longer following the 85% all the way down like we did before. We're not doing this. At, now we see what's happening. Let's see what happens at, at 30 feet. Let's go a little higher, 40 feet. Let's go to 40 feet. So now i got 40 feet, 70 feet would be verbal head. 40 feet is constant. What happens to my beep efficiency? You see how the curve to the left, the purple control line is up to 40 feet. I'm at 72% beep. Keep moving with this. 60 feet constant head, 50 feet verbal head. My best efficiency is now 67 points. Notice at zero flow, I've got to have 60 feet. I've got to have, a, what, about 70% speed to get there. Keep that in mind. This is the real world. Let's go to 80 feet, and you see it's 65%. At 100 feet, I'm about 62%, and you see how the purple line is going all the way up. And I think you're kind of getting the message now, hopefully, that constant head will not change your speed. The only thing will change that speed is verbal head, 
and your beef efficiency is also going down as you increase the constant hit. 